If your float switch has become worn out or damaged, your pump may not operate properly, requiring this repair. In this video, we will be replacing the float top on the CDU series pump family. This fix can be similarly applied across several pump models, namely the CDU, CICDU, SPF, SSF, and CIS series pumps. For this fix, you'll need to begin with a new float top kit. Check your manual for the exact part number you'll need. Once you've received your new float top, you can begin the replacement process by unplugging your sump pump and safely removing it from your sump pit. Bring the pump somewhere clean and dry to work and keep track of small parts. Begin by removing your float switch by safely unlatching the rubber loop at the bottom of the switch from the base of the pump and allow the metal top of the switch to swing loose. You can then start removing your float top by locating and unscrewing the three Phillips head screws from the top of the pump, holding down your current float top. With the three screws removed, slowly lift the float top away from the pump body. This will reveal three connectors holding the float top to the pump. First, slowly disconnect the two black connectors, followed by the green ground connector. This will allow your old float top to be removed. Now, taking your new float top, begin by connecting the green ground connector to the point marked GRD. Ensure a tight connection by pushing the connector all the way down. After the green connector is grounded, you can now securely connect the two remaining black connectors before slowly lowering the float top onto the body of the pump. When lowering the float top, be sure to align the three screw holes with the top of the pump. With the float top properly connected and aligned, you can now reattach the three screws to the float top, securing it to the pump. Tighten the screws hand tight, plus a quarter turn more and be sure that all three screws are evenly tightened to keep moisture out of the pump. Next, locate your float switch and reattach the metal hook back onto the pump and secure the rubber loop back onto the base of the pump. With the new float top installed, you can now return your pump to its sump pit and plug the power cord into a GFCI outlet and maintenance is complete. Test your pump to make sure it's operating properly again after you've made your repairs. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-800-237-0987 or email us at cs at waynepumps.com or leave a question or comment below so we can further assist you. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook for up-to-date news and discussions.